Hello, I'm Lucinda Archer. And welcome to this poster presentation for the MEMTAB 2020 conference on the development of prediction models using competing risk analysis methods in big healthcare databases. I'm giving this talk in place of Konstantinos, who unfortunately couldn't attend the conference this year. And I just want to give a big thank you to the teams at Oxford and at Keele for their contributions to this work. So a competing risk is any event that occurs prior to the event of interest in an analysis that may prevent the event of interest from occurring. In the presence of competing risks, the Cox Proportional Hazards Model, which is the most commonly used method to develop prediction models when using time to event data, um, can overpredict the probability of the event of interest occurring. This is a particular issue when the prevalence of the competing risk is high, and in such cases, models that adjust for the competing risk, such as a fine grey model, are preferred. But fitting such models is really computationally complex and it's time consuming, particularly when um, they're used in combination with other statistical methods such as multiple imputation and using fractional polynomials. All of these methods pose a significant challenge when developing prediction models in big databases. Here we discuss the modelling approaches that we used to minimise the computation time while still maintaining model validity when developing prediction models for adverse events following taking antihypertensive medication from the CPRD data. This data set included almost 1.8 million UK patients which met our requirements with a reasonably high prevalence of the competing event of death at about 10%. We estimated the time to fit the competing risk model in comparison with the more traditional Cox model. Firstly, to demonstrate the difference in computation time, this plot shows a simple univariable analysis with one continuous predictor over a range of possible sample sizes. Even just in the univariable analysis, the fine grey model was taking up to five hours to converge in the full data, compared to the Cox model which finished in less than 20 seconds. So when introducing more predictor variables to the model, the time to convergence for the competing risk model increased exponentially with the number of predictors up to a convergence time of two weeks with all 40 predictors of interest being included. Next, um, we identify some specific problems uh, that we encountered and I talk about the way that we address them to try and decrease the computation time while also maintaining the model validity and also still accounting for that competing risk. First, to improve the efficiency of the model fitting, we use the fast comp risk package in R, which uses a more efficient convergence algorithm than the usual newton raphson method with a novel two-way linear scan approach instead. Rather than fitting the fractional polynomials within the fine grey model, we estimated these transformations within a regular Cox model first, and then specified them as fixed when running the fine grey model to account for the competing risk. Rather than applying statistical selection, uh, the predictor variables for the model were selected based on a search of the literature and clinical consensus. We also combined predictors where appropriate to reduce the number of predictor parameters that needed to be estimated by the model. We used a maximum of only 10 imputations in the data and included in the imputation model the nelson Arlen estimators for the cumulative hazard function of the event of interest and for the competing event, um, as well as binary indicators for both of these event types. Finally, we tested the proportional hazards assumption in only a random subsample of the full data, fitting a standard fine grey model as unfortunately checking this assumption was not possible through the fast comp risk package. In conclusion, fitting multivariable competing risk models can take up to weeks to fit in, um, in big data. We were able to decrease this computation time to less than one day for a complete case analysis with a combination of using faster algorithms, approximation of the fractional polynomial terms prior to modelling and pre-selection of clinically important predictors. We'd really love to hear your thoughts on the processes that we decided to use and look forward to discussing any questions that you might have. Um, so please do get in touch and direct any queries to Konstantinos, whose email address is on the screen. Uh, thank you very much for listening.